Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a little series starting from today where we're going to be doing a random team with random players and try not to get sacked. So that's about it really. So what we're going to do, the rules are quite simple. We're going to randomly generate the team three times. The third one is the team we're going to pick. Um, after that, then we're going to generate a start in 11. So whatever the formation will be, we will, we'll play. It doesn't really matter. And then from there, we're going to sim then to uh, the January transfer window. Uh, and then we're going to pick another five randomly generated players to replace the ones we've already got. Um, so that is about it, really. So in terms of leagues, we won't do the MLS because the transfer window and everything's just messed up. It doesn't make sense and hopefully we will not get sacked um i got a funny feeling we might do but hey let's get straight into it guys oh and don't forget we're going to sim all the games so we're just going to skip 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 all the way through and see how we get on um yeah this could end really badly or really well so let's get straight into it hey guys so this is the random generator we're going to be using korea mode stars for this if you haven't already check them out it's a really really good site with randomly generated teams players Gives you the best uh, insights to uh, young prodigies and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely use this site. So um, I'm going to generate the team now. So this is number one. This is number two. And this is number three. And we've gone for Genk in the, the Pro League. So there we go. So now I'm going to generate the players now. Okay, so the first one on our team is a centre back. I'm going to copy and paste his name. And then we can go and sign him in just a second. Set it back. Next player, whoever that is, plays for Mold. There we go. So that's who we're going to get to there. And he's a Cam. Um, Our next player. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay. It's not terrible. Not terrible. Um, so it's another centre back. So we're, we're getting our centre backs sorted. Um, Again, if any of these were unable to sign him, say if. The team doesn't have enough players or something. We'll just regenerate until we get the same position again. Um, but I want to get all these players in as soon as we can. Um, I don't know what the question mark is at the end. It doesn't... I don't know what that's about, but... There we go. We we got our... Another centre midfielder. There we go. I don't know if his... I don't know why his name's got a question mark at the end, but hey. Uh, we've got House. Um, look, decent centre-back, but unfortunately... We've already got our centre back, so we have to ignore him, which is not great because he's actually decent. Again, another centre back we have to ignore. Here we go. We got our striker. Oh no, that's not a good striker to have. We we we're gonna get sacked. I'm telling you. So that's our striker. Next player to have. We got a right mid. A few minutes later. Hey guys. So um, I was unable to find one centre back and one centre mid. This is this can happen because obviously with the EA when they do their um. Like updates, they remove players and add players and remove players, change names and stuff like that. So um, I've been unable to find this. So what I'll have to do, I'll have to go back onto uh, the website. I'll have to uh, regenerate for a new centre back and a new centre mid. But I just want to show you what the players I've got so far. Um, I don't know why, but we got two right backs. I don't really know what's happened here. Not too sure. Um, in the list that we got, he is our right back. And then um, Wook then is... Yeah, we've got two right-backs. I don't really know. Um, we'll have to convert one of them into uh, a left-back then, just for the sake of it. Um, for some reason, we must have been mistaken, and we got two right-backs instead of a left-back and a right-back. Um, but, yeah, so unless what we can do, we can just pick one of them here. Um, so because he's a right-winger, I'm going to remove him, and we're going to look for another left-back. Um, it looks like we've just messed up by here. Well, I've just messed up. So we're going to look for a left back, a centre back and uh, a centre midfield. So I'm going to go straight to that in just a second. So we are now on the website. So what we're going to do now is obviously generate a left back, centre back and a centre midfielder. And hopefully these players will be able to be found and played. The left back was my mistake and we picked the, the one that was obviously picked out first and we removed the one that was picked out second. OK, so that's the plan now. So let's roll and see what we get. And there we have it. This is one of our centre midfielders we can get. A uh, decent rated player. I'm quite happy with this one, to be fair. Um, hopefully we can sign him. Um, so I'll save that for this. That's our centre midfielder but there. Um, next now, obviously, we need a centre back and a left back. So let's get rolling. And here we have it. This is our centre back. So there we go. Um, it doesn't look great, but hey, it is what it is. So that's our centre back but there um, from LA Galaxy. Let's go. 
So now all we need now is a left back, so let's go and find him. And here we have it. This is our left back. Look, it's definitely an improvement, but um, yeah, I don't really know much about him. Um, Lopara? Lopara? Don't really know. Um, so we have taken, we are going to be taking two Aston Villa players from them in terms of Martinez and their left back. So yeah, uh, 80 rated, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can go and sign them. So let's go ahead and sign them. And then I'm going to show you the complete signings after we scout with them all and all that sort of stuff. So I'll be back in just a second. So while scouting a player, as you can see, the guy is on loan. So we wouldn't be able to sign this player. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to regenerate now. Um, another centre midfielder because obviously we can't sign someone who is on loan. So that's what we're going to do in just a second. And there we have it, guys. This is our centre midfielder to replace. Hopefully, fingers crossed, he is not can be found and he's not on loan anywhere. Uh, he's 29 years old, so I can't imagine he is on loan. Um, he's a CDM, but centre midfielder, as we said in the previous thing. We're going to be using either or now, and hopefully they just fit into the style. So, guys, I'll let you know again if we can sign these people, and then I'll let you know when we're actually signed them and fitted into the team. So, guys, we have now bought all the players that we require, apart from one. And there's a bit of an issue because when you look at him, he's a centre-back. When you go on there, it says they're not willing to sell. He's too important for the club. So you know what that means. I have to regenerate. So I'm going to head over to the generator, look for a centre-back. But as you can see, um, we have got all our offers uh, sent. They're all signed and into the club. Um, some of them I paid over the uh, over the odds for. But some of them I got some from for some really good deals. Um, so I'm going to head over now to the generator. And we're going to look for another centre back. So let's go straight to it. And there we have it. Our first time logging onto the website. The first thing that comes up is our centre back. And look, it's probably a fair trade really. Looking at it, 69 to 65 is not much of a difference. But there we go. So let's have a little look and see if we can do that. So there we go. This is our newer centre back at the club. And here we have it. This is our final lineup, guys. So as you can see, we have got, um, look, a mixed variety. I think the back line is a bit weak with him, but we got a very good keeper. Um, we got decent wingers in terms of left back, right back. It's not great up front, I'm not going to lie. It's technically it's fucking horrendous, but, but I'm going to go ahead now and fast forward to January. And yeah, so I'll turn my camera off and I'll zoom it through. So let's go and fast forward to January and see if we're somehow still in a job. So here we have it, guys. We managed to make it to January, which is an absolute miracle. As you can see at the top right, i got about a billion messages I need to go through. So I'm going to clear them and then we're going to have a little look at the league table, at where we stand in uh, competitions. But we're not sacked. Well, just looking from this at our team so far, it doesn't look like we've had the best of times. Um, our striker has gone minus one somehow. I don't know how that's possible when he's consistently playing, but hey, we'll go with it. Um, and we've got a couple of injuries and the fitness doesn't look quite up to standard. So that is a bit of a worry. Um, morale is very unhappy and sharpness is only 63. So I don't think we're going to be looking at great stats. So let's move over to the league table. Um, I haven't looked at this myself. So, okay, sixth. Okay, that's not horrific, but we are 15 points behind top. So we're quite a way off it. Obviously, Champions League and all that sort of stuff is top four. But we're only four points behind Andale. So when you put that into perspective, I think we're, we're doing okay. So I'll take it from there. Um, let's have a look at other competitions we might be in. Uh, we lost in the first round. So that's, 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 that's shit. Yeah, brilliant. Um, the Pro League playoffs. I don't know what this is. Um, I don't really know much about this type of league if i'm really honest i'm quite uncultured in it but hey next now i'm going to go over to the generator so we're going to bring up the generator again da, 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 da. and we're going to generate five random players and so here we go random number one a new cdm so there we go so he is rated 63 i think that's a downgrade on what we've got already but Look, his potential is quite high. He's 19 years old. Hopefully, we can find him. Hopefully, we can get him uh, in. Um, our next generated player is a new striker. Thank God for that. Oh, we needed that so bad. Um, he's a lot better than the one we got. That's for sure. So, there we go. We got a new striker. Our next one, a new left back. No. We didn't want this to happen, but it's, it's going to happen, unfortunately. We'll replace him in the first team. Our current left back and all the other players will obviously still go on the bench. What we got now? We got uh, a right winger. Like again, we have got a very good right, right, right winger as it is. So 
Look again, we're gonna we're gonna have to replace them. And we got one last spin left, which is oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. We can't have Mal come in and take over. Uh, well, that's what it is. That's what it is, guys. Let's go and search him. Let's go and scout him. Let's go and sign him. So, guys, as you can see, our left back, Francisco Torres, is unable to find him. Um, I don't know why, again, it may be that we've removed him. So, we are going to have to generate another player. So, who is it? Let's have a look. Which is a new left winger, which is obviously taken out probably one of our best players again. We move, that's what we're going to do. So yeah, unfortunately we got to remove Torres because, well, we can't, can't bloody find him. So let's see if we can find this guy while you're here. Just so you can see. Um, again, for some reason I can't find this player. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know whether it's because there was an update in the players. Um, I tried his first name and his last name and he does not exist. Um... So for me, I'll I'll just have to research again, which is which is really frustrating. But and there we go, we got a new cam centre mid, which is Alan Lesseno. Um, so yeah, let's search him and hopefully we can actually uh find. There we go, there he is. So there we go. I'm gonna go and search these guys, add them to the thing, and then I'll get back to you when they're all signed up. So here we go. We have signed the signings we needed to. We have got five players in. Um, no other issues so there we go we got all these players we all fit them into the teams now again don't forget the automatic simulation can swap players in and out especially with injuries etc etc so we'll see how much game time they actually get um but I, i'm going to put them in my starting lineup and we'll go from there and then i'm going to sim straight to the end of the season to see if we're still going to make it because looking at my board rating i don't think we're going to make it to the end of the season so guys fingers crossed let's skip straight to the end of the season and uh let's hope we can maybe finish top four so we made it to the end of the season without being sacked which is a miracle um as you can see up the top right you can see everything's kicking off i'm going to clear all that and then we can get straight into seeing how we did with a team how who played the most minutes um, yeah, I got a funny feeling we didn't do too well just by what's all kicking off the top right. So this is the team we started out with, as you can see. It looks like a lot of players have been swapping in and out. You can see the players who have been playing and who haven't. Um, as you can see, a lot of the squad has changed from the ones we've made. Um, can you see the stats? Yes, we can. We can have a look. Who played the most games? Obviously, our keeper, Martinez, played really well. Our right back, obviously, is one of the better players in the squad. Um, centre midfielder. Okay, interesting. He looks like he came on quite a lot. Um, we got a centre midfielder there. So a lot of the players who start in are, are our better type of players. But they are all the players we bought in, which is nice to see. Um, so, yeah, who scored the most goals in our squad? Oh, that's not very good, is it? So our left winger scored eight. Our centre midfielder scored five. Our our striker, um, who I don't actually know. I'm, I'm guessing he's an old player who's already at the squad yeah let's go five uh we bought him in in january you played seven games uh, they only played seven games after january interesting um and obviously it was just two goals so yeah not great who's our original striker where is he has he did he score any no he played he only played four games this is what i mean see when you simulate him um, they automatically pick squads so luck we can only do what we can do but hey four games no goals Average of 6.1, which is not great. So, um, yeah, where did we finish in the league? That's a great, great question. Oh, no. We finished ninth. So we managed to make our squad worse, chap, um, in January. We finished on 45 points, um, which it's like only a couple more than we, we, we were in January. But, hey, uh, Club Bruges began to the title. Um, which is pretty good. And the left with one point, to, we were like two points behind the left at one point. Um, so there we go. That shows the difference in the squad. So guys, this is my career mode. Totally random, totally random players, totally random team. And this is how it happens. We finished ninth with Ghent, um, and we were knocked out of every single club tournament. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think of it. If you enjoyed it, we'll do more of it. Um, let me know what we can do to improve anything. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Take care. Much love. Peace.